Dasil Sin, Gyeosyo Junyism, Yoru Juan, Young Habanita. Or for those who don't speak Korean, big ol' welcome back to the channel. I bet you're wondering why today I'm speaking Korean. And it's because, as you read the title, I accidentally bought a Korean car. That's why you don't go on an auction website and bid and forget about it. Anywho, we're currently on our way to go pick up a 2013 Hyundai Velociraptor to uh, look over and I guess we're gonna flip that too because I don't really need a Velociraptor right now but I somehow ended up with one. I, so the backstory on that is there's a website that has auction vehicles from impound vehicles that were never picked up to other government buildings or sorry vehicles and got on there one night was itching to buy something put in a bid thinking that somebody would bid on it and forgot about it 45 minutes later I'm the proud owner of a Hyundai Velociraptor. So right now we're on our way, about an hour out to pick it up with our trusty little, hey, you can't see it, little car dolly back there. And uh, we're gonna get our little Velociraptor home and take a look at her. Also, this guy that I got it from has been kind of seedy and has been just like really slow to communicate. So I'm hoping that everything is as it's supposed to be on the ad. So we're gonna find out together. Well guys, I think that's her sitting there. Like I said, I got this from an auction site from, I guess it's a police impound, but I don't know. Find out. Alright guys, sorry for my sweating. We got the Veloster Raptor loaded up. A couple setbacks, bumper. Might be a little bit messed up. Whatever, we got this stupid dolly and that's what we're working with. But uh, we wiggled it around and retightened it, wiggled it some more, retightened. So I'm hoping it doesn't fall off. So let's take this hour ride back home and see if it makes it all the way back. And we'll check it out a little bit more. Well, folks, as you saw, we got this here Korean Velociraptor back home in one piece. This thing's real sketchy. I hate them, but like I said, we're going to use what we got. So next step is we're going to get this thing off and we'll take a look at it. All right, guys, this is the part of the video where I talk about the piece of junk that I just got stuck with. Because that's what seems to be happening to this YouTube channel. But anyways, that wasn't like that before I got to her. It was missing a part, but it wasn't all ripped apart. Thanks to our dolly, we now have to deal with that. But uh, all in all, not too bad. There's a dent there. 
assuming that probably got done in transport well, on a tow truck because this was an impounded car that was sold at auction got a dent there got a crack there but i think that's mostly all of the body damage that we have it's just some of it on the driver's side and the bumper that i'll have to be uh, fixing now for the inside she's pretty clean not too bad got a free red bull with her i don't think i've ever seen in the back cool little cars looks like it's got some sort of sunroof or moonroof i don't know this is the first time i've owned an actual sedan car i don't know if you'd, yeah you'd call this a sedan i don't know it's got three doors so this is the first time i've owned a car in probably like six or seven years so the story on this little guy i found it on an auction and i bid on it didn't expect to win the bid and 45 minutes later like i said earlier got a notification saying we won it so now we're stuck with this Velociraptor. The guy that I got it from it was an impound tow truck driver, and I guess he got it from the police who pulled somebody over in Maryland, and I guess he had a warrant, went to jail, never came for his car, so now we got it. So that's the backstory. I'm sticking to it. As you can see, we got some boxes here. They are the ignition coils. The guy that I got the car from said that they need to be replaced and the check engine lights should go away. But we're not completely sure if that's fully the problem. Uh, I've got a code reader, so we're going to check out that code, see what we've got. Also, one of the belts is squeaking a bunch, so you have to figure out what's going on there. It does run and drive, but it is definitely losing power and it needs some love. First things first, we got to fix the bumper that we just messed up. And we got the bumper fixer 5000 right here. All right, guys, so we got our handy dandy code reader there. But before we even check the codes, there's the uh, ignition coils. It looks kind of wet there, so that's good. But the more alarming thing is that is empty. Well, there's like one, one thimble's worth in there. That's the, uh, the engine coolant. And then over here is where some more engine coolant is supposed to be. It says no spiders on this thing. But uh, we look in there. Well, yeah, you can kind of see it. There's no cool ant in there either. Where did it go? And then, like I said, it gets even worse. So come down here. You have this big old hose, Jonski, right here. Nothing but net. There's air in that. So put in the comments, where do you think the coolant went? Did it go to Tahiti? Or what's going on here? And before y'all say, check the oil. It's got, probably got blown head gasket. It's uh, that way light. It's oil colored. It's not really pancake mix colored. So I don't think the coolant's in there. Now let's go check the engine codes because I know that's what you're waiting to see. All right, we got her all hooked up. Let's give her a read. Off to the races. I'm hoping there's just one code for those ignition coils and maybe no coolant. I'll see you in a moment. Well, she wouldn't read without running, so let's check it out. No, we don't want to erase. Let's come down here to engine. Read codes. Oh, that's a Christmas tree of lights right now. Stored codes. Random multiple cylinder misfire. Yeah, we know. Next one. Come on, show me the next one. Cylinder two misfire, cylinder one misfire. Engine coolant temperature. Yeah, because we don't have any freaking coolant. All right, cool. So hopefully it's just those uh, ignition coils and some coolant in her. And maybe we'll be in business. Meanwhile, that's a sweet Christmas tree right there. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be a wrap on me accidentally buying a Velociraptor. So drop in the comments below. Do you think we're going to get screwed over? Or do you think that this might actually turn out to be a good accident? Or as Bob Ross calls him, happy accident. So, uh. We'll see you next time, maybe in two weeks for an update on this little guy. So join us next week for another interesting series we're going to get started. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys later.